If you appreciate this recorded session, we welcome you to join us for our next live group gathering. The link can be found in the description below. Finding a moment of stillness in your body, if you can. If you still need movement, that's okay too. But just feeling into that energy that's been cultivated. The vibrancy, the luminosity, the just vibrating energy that's been cultivated here by presence, by sound, by intention. So a key point of I don't know what, but a key point is service. Something about this energy comes to me in this time, service. And it's really, there's something to be found that maybe I'd call freedom in the light of service. And so service isn't always to a group of people or to anything specific. It can be to anything and it's helpful to bring in this act, this energy of service into our moment to moment lives. So it's how can I be of service to this sensation right now? Even if it's a painful sensation or a pleasurable sensation, how can I be of service to this? What does this need from me? How can it be of service to this sound right now? Regardless if I like it or I don't like it through thought. How can I be of service to the blue sky? And there's something magical in this energy and movement of true service that serves in a way that kind of lets you release yourself, kind of asks you to release the part that is about you. Service isn't about you. So it gives us the space and opportunity to release ourselves and the pressure that that imposed selfing mechanism applies to our moment to moment existence. And there's something very magical in service that opens this knowing of how to respond instead of react. So when we're in our selfing energy, we're reacting to situations, we're reacting to life. But we're, when we're in a serving energy, there's a natural responding to that which needs response that happens, that's available to happen in that space. So the inquiry may be, how can I be in service to whatever 
is needed now. How can I be of service without myself? How can I respond without a self reaction? So these are all sort of questions that are inquiry based that are, they have a quality of prayer in them. They have a quality of surrender in them. How can I do this? You're asking the energy to show you, the life to show you, the circumstance to show you. You're not looking for a conceptual answer. And in this, the opportunity is here to seep into the field of knowing. It's not a mind knowing. It's an interconnected energy that knows all things, that is connected to all things, things that aren't really things. And this is the space and the energy that solves all query, that answers all questions. <clears throat> Even sometimes with no answer at all. Or often with the answers we didn't expect to have, or the circumstances that we didn't expect to open ourselves to, to be asked to open ourselves to, the circumstances that break our hearts. Thank you for being here and just diving into this part of yourself and tuning into your heart's truth.